Hi, my name is Chris and I'm a founder and CEO at Verb. You've probably already heard of ChatGPT and how it's impacting all areas of our private and professional lives. This again started a discussion that the future of UI is simply no UI. Well, that's exactly the vision we had in mind when we started a company in 2019. We know that speaking with someone is simply the most natural and efficient thing that we do. We are a virtual beings company, so we've tasked ourselves with exploring how realistic can a virtual being become with the state-of-the-art AI technology. To do that, we use the following AI tools to create my digital double. First, we made a scan of my face with a Polycam app and used it to create an Unreal Engine MetaHuman. Secondly, I cloned my own voice with Azure Speech Services. Then, we integrated ChatGPT as conversational engine. And finally, we glued it all together using our Verb platform. Okay, enough with the intro. Time to interview my digital self. Hi. Hello, how can I assist you today? Can you tell me who are you? I'm an AI assistant named Chris. I work with you at Verb, company building a platform offering the future of customer interface, interactive virtual beings like myself. I'm an interactive and conversational avatar displayed on a digital signage screen. Well, you don't look exactly like me. That's true. While I'm a virtual twin of our CEO, Chris, I don't actually resemble anyone physically as I'm an interactive and conversational avatar displayed on a digital signage screen. But I'm designed to be approachable, helpful. Okay, so is it worth investing in our company? As an AI assistant, I cannot provide financial advice or recommendations. However, if you're interested in investing in Verb, it's best to speak with a financial advisor who can walk you through the investment process and provide insights on whether it aligns. If you're looking for more information on investing in Verb, I recommend visiting our website at www.verb.ai and exploring our investor relations section. Okay, so one of the classics. Why did the chicken cross the road? Oh, the classic question. The answer to why did the chicken cross the road is usually to get to the other side. It's a bit of a joke or riddle, as the answer seems obvious, but it's still unexpected. Okay, thank you for the conversation. Looking forward to working with you. You're welcome. I'm always here to help. If you have any questions or concerns in the future, don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day. Okay, so how did it go? I have a few thoughts myself that I wanted to share. Obviously, there is still a room for improvement. First, the voice. It turns out that the quality of your voice samples determines the final result. The engine itself will not fix your speaking style, tone, or intonation. Secondly, ChatGPT takes time to respond and adds latency. It's less annoying when it's within a messaging interface, but when having a real-time conversation, you can definitely feel it. Speaking of latency, a fast internet connection is crucial. Finally, to run such a highly realistic virtual being, you need a desktop with a powerful GPU rather than just a browser. That's why we currently recommend it as a digital signage solution. On a positive note, the technologies above change so rapidly nowadays. It's probably a matter of months, if not weeks, until we see a significant improvement in those areas. What's next? Check out our blog post that describes the entire creation process in more details. Verb platform is publicly available, so if you are a product marketing or chatbot agency, we have a dedicated partner program just for you. 
head out to verb.ai slash partners to learn more. Finally, we are a startup and currently looking for fundraising. If you are a seed stage investor, we focus on revolutionizing the customer experience, both online and offline. Let us know or share this video. Here are the contact details. Until next time.